If you inspect his bones, there are telltale markings that show where his muscles attached. These allow us to reconstruct his immense musculature. And as we add the flesh to his bones, the prominent muscles behind his head are a clue to his true nature. Look at the way this white-backed vulture is feeding. It looks a bit manic, but it's under control. And look at the way the bird is using its neck, the powerful muscles on the back of its neck, to pull back. There, look, you can see it now. It's found something that's quite tough to get at. And it's using that neck, bracing itself all the time with its strong feet, effectively its hind limbs. We know from the fossil evidence that T-Rex's muscles were constructed just like those of a carnivorous bird. So from what we understand from T-Rex's physiology, it's very likely that it would have fed just like this vulture is feeding now. So it was a lot more like a bird than a crocodilian. Evidence that dinosaurs are related to birds has radically changed the study of T-Rex. But when I was a kid, experts were still in the dark. <laughs>